Let's go drift it. Hey guys, it's Andrew from Drifting Dad Performance, and in this video, we finally get the engine into the car. Transmission bolted together. That's right, we got the engine and transmission bolted together, right, Leah? Mm -hmm. Now, all we have to do is put the engine and transmission in the car. So now I got the engine and transmission bolted together, dropping in the car, and this is just for mock-up, so this is nowhere near the last time this thing's going in, but I want to check to see how well the shifter lines up with the shift the stock hole, and then just overall how this is going to fit. And I'll probably try to fit the um, accessory brackets on as well, and make sure they clear the frame rails and everything. So I was trying to put the engine in. I have the cross member flipped right now, but it just... That was not the answer. I had um, a lot of clearance issues up around the firewall with the heater hoses and such. Um, so the next step to try is to flip the cross member back to the stock location, move the engine mount back, and then I'll see how it fits. And if that is the only way it's gonna work, then what we'll do is I will change the mounting of the accessories so I can get the AC compressor on somehow. Um, so that's going to require a bit of fab work, but uh, not a huge deal if everything else fits correctly. All right, so I got the engine in. This is the mock-up. You can see it actually sits pretty far off the firewall. I had to move. I wanted to get it closer, but it was not working out. And up here you can see very um, close to the sway bar, but then also I think the big thing is this water pump. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can cut off the fan clutch piece or just use the fan clutch. I think the fan clutch fan though is gonna be too big for, it's gonna stick out too far. So with the engine, I had to remove the hood hinge and then also remove the, um, it was like the heater core hoses as well. I'll take a little, little closer look at the heater core. I'm not sure if the hinge was necessarily entirely um, needed, but it did help. So I took the stock hoses off the heater core, and then I had to bend. So I took the stock hoses off the heater core, and then I had to bend this away so it would clear the intake. I don't know if it's 100% necessary, but I think it will help with routing the hoses because the hoses have to come over to here. So now I've got the engine in a place where I'm happy. I'm going to pull it out so I can finish putting the oil pan, put the clutch in, and pull it all up for good. This is the transmission mount that was supplied by Granny's, and because I'm using this T5 transmission, it does not work exactly. What's going on here is the Granny's mount is designed for a transmission that has a flat mounting plate. But what we're doing here with the uh, with the T5 is we're turning it so it's straight up. When it was in a Camaro, it was actually tilted 17 degrees towards the driver. And I need to correct that 17 degrees back into this transmission mount. So that means cutting it up and doing some fab work. And then it will fit perfect. I'm going to show you what I came up for an engine mount solution to get the pan off of the cross member. All I did was put a quarter inch stock to space the engine mounts, and that's on both sides. These will be cut down and then welded to um, these mounts, but for mock-up, I just left them like that, and that worked out great. And then on the engine itself, uh, you're gonna mount, these are the granny's mounts. It's gonna have that triangle pointing backwards, so that's the front of the engine. This triangle points away <laughs> towards the back, and then the driver's, or, yeah, driver's side, left side, mounts to these holes on the ICT billet plate right one. We pick up that front one like so. So you end up something like that. And then the passenger side is a little different. Because of the way things end up, you put the passenger triangle pointed backwards again and then we go to these first this first bolt hole here. Uh, and that's just because the offset of these mounts, and then also the offset in the subframe itself, but it really is because of here, you've got to move it out. 
And then one last thing, this side of the engine mount pad for the subframe has like this J shape, and you're gonna have to loosen the bottom nut here, the 17 millimeter um, wrench is what, or socket's what you need. And then you wanna, this is gonna be a stock position. You slide it up, out, or forwards, and then up. And that because of we're adding these height with this pad, this helps compensate it for it, and then your engine will fit. If you don't do that, the engine will not fit. And I would also recommend you do what I did here. You kind of bolt up the granny's mount to the arc seven mount with the spacer, and then lower the engine in. It's gonna be a whole lot easier than trying to get the um, hole here onto this post. Then like you saw before, you wanna hang the engine pretty tail heavy, so you have plenty of clearance to get the oil pan in uh, and the transmission in the tunnel, and then you can start jacking the transmission up from the back to make it more level as you bring the engine down. And that should have the oil pan clear everything. And you will want to also remove your steering link before you put it in, otherwise the oil pan will hang up on the steering link. Here we have the T5 shifter onto the um, transmission. And what we're doing here is just kind of seeing how things are going to line up. The customer wants the shift knob in the car to be exact, look exactly the same as the ARC-7 one. So I'm going to have to basically modify this so that this piece can fit on and it's at the right height as well. So what I'm doing here is just kind of mocking things up, seeing where I'm going to have to cut and weld this, uh, probably move this back just a hair and then um, figure out how to get the, I've got the arc 7 shifter down here. We're going to have to put this, attach this somehow so that has the right thread and the right height to uh, get the boot and everything. What I've done here is I placed the shift boot over, got all lined up, made a mark here. Basically is going to tell me where this threaded area needs to start or the transition area is because the there's this collar here that slips onto this and then threads on to kind of hold the shift boot up and then the shift knob threads on top of that. So I've gotten the measurement and it actually works out pretty good because you can see here, this is the good mark. See the mark there, right there. And then I can just line this piece up and I've got plenty of space here what I basically can do is cut this off and then weld this back on all right so now I've got the transmission off and I'm putting the flywheel on right now what I got for the flywheel was just a standard like 2000 Camaro LS1 uh, clutch kit from Rock Auto this should work out great for uh, stock power plant and it came with the clutch pressure plate and uh, flywheel and then also the throw out bearing as well so it's pretty nice in order to torque the flywheel down all I did was take the flex plate that was on it put a bolt through one of the holes for the tor torque converter into the block and then I basically pushed down on this on top here and when you tighten it, this locks the starter ring together and this doesn't rotate at all. So I was able to just push down, torque these in three passes, uh, 20, 37, 74 pounds. And that was super easy. No more like fighting, having the engine rotate or anything. I did the same thing with the pressure plate. Now that's all torqued to 52 foot pounds and I'm ready to install the transmission. I do need a few things uh, to do that. Specifically, um, a new front cover here. This is gonna have the area for the throwout bearing to ride on because I'm using a fork instead of the stock Camaro um, hydraulic throwout bearing. But after that, I can put the transmission back on and get the engine back in the car. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you 
found this content uh, enjoyable and helpful. And we will be back with more updates as we make more progress. Thank you.